Eric, I'd like to read a question on behalf of one of our friends here today. I trust that they are well. Yes, thank you. She asks, how can we heal our lives? I've been trying to, trying so hard asking for guidance, and I'm not sure if I'm on the right path. I've been given guidance to leave a toxic family situation, and it is very challenging and painful. Thank you. Oh, my dear, once again, one must consider a spiritual mind may say, look after each other, but a wiser mind will say, look after self, so that you will be strong to make decisions which will be in benefit of all situations. For if you have already said that the situation is toxic, therefore it can pollute who you are, are you living for someone else or are you living for yourself? Are you free to admire the world without worry? Sometimes, my friend, the wisest thing is to redraw all support, redraw all things that make the family or situation strong and say, I can do this no more. You may say that I'm being cruel and unkind, but I am being generous and loving in this way that you may not understand, but I have a right of happiness. And therefore, my friend, I must step away from the situation as painful as it must be with respect for you. I say this with deep, I love you and I will always love you, but you must learn to live without me. I wish you well. For one to think like this, my friend, Sickness isn't only what can be felt. Sickness can be invisible. It can be worry on mind, pressure on heart and nervous system. And for you to then emotionally say to the energy that holds you, you have no power over me. We must walk the path of the circle so we are together now, but as we walk, you walk left and I walk right. We will walk away from each other. We will go to the furthest points away, but like a circle, there will come a point when you walk towards each other. Time of separation may give clarity and may even itself cause someone to seek out health and happiness through other means. Medical intervention, counseling with thoughts so that they can realize what brought you together may now have outgrown or have gone in a different direction. So, my friend, I say this to you. You may ask for guidance. You may ask for signs to say, is this the right thing to do? Only your soul knows this. So don't reach out, go within. Your soul is stronger than anything. It has the endless strength and it will never fail you. Ask yourself this question. If I do this, what would be the worst that would happen? Let's go to the worst 
and then go to the next thought. So that has happened. What's next? And so on and so forth. And then you realize, my friend, that there can never be something that you cannot overcome. So, my friend, if it means dropping the keys to a door and walking away, then so be it. You will never go hungry and you'll never sleep under the stars. You will always have a feather pillow to rest your head on. I could not tell you, but as you have asked for advice for all who can hear, to help others, sometimes you must help yourself first. Put yourself first, be strong. Clarity of mind, then decisions will come. And from those decisions become actions. Actions become reality. Sandra, my dear, is that pleasing for you? Yes, I think many of us can take good advice from that. Thank you, Eric. Could I ask you all, why do you feel it's necessary to put yourself last? Surely, my friends, that you are all an individual that has been created by a great consciousness. For you not to honor yourself can insult those who created you. If you put yourself first, surely when one has walked that path, you'll then gain much knowledge that you can share for others. It is not a selfish manner because the decision has been made through love. And therefore, my friend, for everything you step upon will be a road of peace. It is sad when I stand invisible to your eyes but observing situations when people are brought together in the sacred ceremony where gold or silver has been exchanged which carries upon their person they may smile and nod but inside there is a fire a fire of hatred for one another this is not the vow you made. This is not the one you're intended to spend your life with. Surely the circle represents the symbol that I gave you. Walk away from each other. You may meet other people that bring you deeper happiness. It is not a sin. It is only that a written religion by weak hands, has said it is a mortal sin. Surely, my friend, finding love is exactly what it means. You must find it, and therefore you must pick up rock and stone along the way. But I digress. If that is pleasing, let us move along. Yes, and that actually leads to the next question. Can one marry in the spirit world? This is a question oh, from our yes, friend Hart. <laughs> First of all, I hope that the inquisitive mind is well. Yes. But of course, my friend, marriage is the commitment. But I will honor you as you honor me. Now, my friends, Many of you who are seeking romance, 
may not find it under your stars because you may be born in a different time or different part of the world. And therefore, my friend, if you have not had the sacred vows of your commitment to each other, you can do so in our world. Love, my friend, cannot be expressed by common words. It is something that is felt. It troubles us to see how still in your world there are people who love each other tremendously, but religions deny them. Do you fall in love with the body? Do you fall in love with the personality? Do you fall in love as they sit silently with you. For the body that you have loved begins to age. The skin seems to stretch. The teeth begin to fall. Do you fall in love with their career? Well, their career could change. You fall in love with the invisible part of them that becomes your reality. When you go to bed, if you think of them, and when you wake in the morn and they are the first thing you think of, that is love. Does your mind wander to them? as you wander through your world. I wonder what they're doing now. When you speak on your modern technology and you hear their voice but don't see their face, you've fallen in love with the tone of their voice. You feel the quickening of excitement as they share stories with you. Your imagination then starts to paint a wonderful canvas. But then you mourn the body. But everything that you have loved is still there. And that is why, my friends, love will never die. It only grows stronger. So if you have not been romanced, gentlemen, if you've not seen a lady's ankle, and ladies, you've not seen the wrist of a man, you will see this in our world. And if then you flutter and say, I wish to spend eternity with you, and if love is there, then the ceremonies of the coming together of two spirits that have searched eternity, but it's been worth the wait. Would you allow me to extend further upon this matter? Yes, please. Now, my friends, many of you have had your hearts broken and mended more than once. If, my friends, you fall in love with someone and then you have relations, children are born, and then you fall out of love with each other, will you then continue your journey for eternity, bound together? No, you will not. You have mutual respect for one another. From the happiness, life was made. If, my friends, that you are born, you fall in love with each other, and love remains, you'll continue to have 
lives wrapped in one another's company for eternity. If, my friends, that you find true love, the deepest love, and someone is then comes to our side of life and the other one must continue to see the days through and they fall in love again. The one in our world will not be bitter, but will have this over sense of love and appreciation for the one that they have left behind has found happiness. And ordinarily, my friends, they have played a part in bringing you together. For if you are to walk down the aisle again, they will walk by your side, and so will the other. You think of this, my friend, as your bodies are just one. But if I was to ask you, as your bodies are here, think of somewhere else in the world. Your mind can travel and be in more than one place. In our world, my friend, you can be in more than one place. It is called divisible. And therefore, my friends, you can share your lives with others because love was there. It is hard for one's mind to capsulate this. But we will never have conflict. There will always be love. We don't have disagreements, my friends. We have debates that can spark great passion. But we will always have knowledge. Because, my friends, you communicate through words. We communicate through thought. And therefore, if one finds it difficult to simulate a sentence, we will already know, and we will know their reason why they love them so deeply. In my mind, my friends, I say this to you. If I love someone truly, if I know others love them, I know they will be safe. They will be happy. And I will be at peace. Thank you for allowing me to continue further than the inquiry. But troubled minds sometimes say, who will I spend eternity with? If there is love, you will spend eternity with love. If there was malice, you may never see one another until the malice is gone. If that is pleasing for you, let us move along. Yes, very much. Diana would like me to ask you the next question, Eric. Do we choose yes? Yes. Please continue. Okay. She says, before coming into the physical world, have we committed to following a particular spiritual path or to serving spirit? Thank you. Well, my friend, may I say this too, as I referred with tongue and cheek, choose. My friend, there is potential with any soul that comes to this world, but environments, situations may change their potentiality. The soul has come to experience emotion and that emotion may become addictive and therefore sway them from their duty. The duty is to find emotion but also to leave an impact in the lives that know you, so that each of you make a commitment that you will leave this world brighter 
your soul must transform into the spirit. Some people attain a part of this whilst they walk within your world, and others must cross the finish line of their physical life to then begin their spiritual days. So, my friend, there is always potential. If you could call it crudely in your modern times, you may plan where your destination is. But then you may get caught up with the excitement and plans may change. But the outcome will always be happiness. If you allow me to extend further upon this, if many of you say to me, is there a map already drawn of life? Why would you choose that map? Where's the adventure in that? Do I take on lessons? Well, my friend, whilst you're here, if you have not attained your lesson, what will be your punishment? Equally, what will be the reward that when one attains it? And if you have attained it, then is your duties here on earth are done? So, my friends, we look upon this. It is easier when things happen to you to say, this is my karma. This was my plan. This was my destiny. It is easier to give the responsibility to that instead of just accepting that this happened to me. These words that I've shared with you merely are words that some may hold as their religion. We desire only the best for you. Your soul has great potential, but your physical life may alter that. Wonderful stories that you hear when a child is born into poverty, has been born into a family that may not appreciate, but then they choose to fight with passion and then they become someone that others love, others admire. But from that experience, they say, I know what it was like to have no food within my belly as I went to bed that night. So my commitment to the world is to ensure at least one child will never experience what I have experienced. That is your promise then to humanity. It is not a lesson. It was an experience. One that may we say, we may not wish for you, but then the wiser one said, look at the outcome. We learn from you. We see how you become more gentle. The life we have lived has run its course. So, my friends, we learn from you. You are the teacher that sets the lessons for us. But nothing's too deep or shallow. We will walk and swim it if we need. Once again, thank you for allowing me to still a moment of that. As time is against me, let us move along. Yes, thank you, Eric. Our friend Cheryl is wondering, how are our spirit guides assigned to us? Well, my friend, may I say this to you? It is not one who stands in line and say, I will take that one, not that one. That is very cruel, you know. You seem to do this a lot when you are children. When one is saying, I would like you on my team, but not you. May I say we choose each other. We see one another. There is something with you that completes us. 
and likewise with you. We make a promise, but only one may know of this, that I will walk with you and I will be there when your journey has ended. You may feel my words and hear my whispers. Now go and live. But may I pose this to you and extend further, that I myself walked this earth. I am a friend to the one in the chair. Whilst I walked the earth, his soul watched me. We had a conversation before I was born, one I was reminded of in my review to your world. Now, my friend, he must walk the path and I will walk as his shadow until his journey has ended. Then both of us will continue within the world of light. Like each of you, my friends, you have watched another before you were born, and they watch over you while you walk and dance in the rain. You complete each other, my friends, and if you allow me to paint something which I believe your imagination may be able to interpret. The purpose of life is to destroy self, the ego of self. Eventually, my friends, if the soul was a drop of rain, the soul transforms into the spirit, and every drop of rain must find its way back to one ocean. You become one with all life when consciousness comes together. We are all still drops of rain, my friends. We will all be one eventually in a different time. Sandra, my dear, is that pleasing for you as time is against me? Yes, thank you very much. If it is so your wish, as I know there are other itches of inquiry, but at this moment, let us face one another and know eternity meets your world. Know that the pain that you may experience is not only your pain, it is ours. But we come to support you when other ears may sleep at night, we listen. If the nights are long, we are patient and we wait with you. Until the world wakes up in the morn and others see you, we will remain by your side. Take the love of eternity. Take the love of your good people who stand and reflect themselves within you. And know that every step is made, we make it together. The week ahead may face their challenges. You may read with the rag or see on the devil's box effects of the unrest in countries. But once again, we try to dampen the fire so peace can come. So, my friends, no matter where you have come from, no matter how you may speak, our hearts are one, our breath is one. No matter what color of skin, or sexuality. Let us unite in the brotherhood of men. 
may the blessings fall upon you and the families that you represent here this day. May they be blessed with love and held in peace. Good day to you, my friends. Good day, Eric. Thank you so very much.